Hi guys, so this video was filmed two weeks ago and it was way before the corona outbreak. I was debating whether it was okay to upload at a time like this and I still don't know what to think. I really don't want to be insensitive and make this about me as it almost feels like the world is ending. But I decided to upload it still because a lot of the things I do in this video can be ideas of activities to do during self-quarantine and I highly encourage you to partake in social distancing. My heart goes out to anyone one affected by this tragedy. Gee, good morning. It's almost like I didn't set up this camera to get a very candid shot of me just waking up. Hi, good morning. It has been a while. And for that, I have a list of excuses. Let's just roll some of them. <laughs> no, but... To be honest, it's been kind of a rough past few weeks for me. I've been doubting myself a lot. I've been really sad. I've been busy. I've been stressed. I've been very self-conscious of the content that I make. And I just feel like I've dragged on this slump for far too long. It's time to put an end to it. And this is my attempt at doing that. So I hope you enjoy watching me trying to get out of a slump or maybe you are too in a slump because seasonal depression, my guy, is really hard. And I know that maybe some of you are going through the same thing. Just overall, the winter time is tough on everybody, but responsibilities and duty calls. So that is what being an adult is like. It's not fun, there's no benefits to it, but we have to do it or else we die, literally. I have my handy dandy bullet journal right here. And so I'm just going to write down everything that I want to get done today. Oh, jeez, <laughs> Lord. This is really hard to do. Let's try this again. Of hope that keeps me strong. The first thing I want to do is clean my room. My room is not super dirty, but I feel like it could definitely be cleaner. When I have a clean room, I feel like I can do anything, and so that is the goal. A second thing I want to do is do my laundry. It's a step I really hate doing, but I really want to clean my clothes and I have to be precise, put them away. After that, the third thing I want to do is take a bath. Fourth thing is just get ready. I feel like I've just been really neglecting my appearance and the way that I've been presenting myself these past few days and it's been really bad for my self-esteem and confidence. I just feel like doing nothing and I just want to wallow around. And finally, the fifth thing, I don't want to like overwhelm myself too much by having a huge list and basically accomplishing nothing because I just feel too overwhelmed. I really want to do the rough cut of a drifting video that I film. And I also want to start working on the thumbnail. Oh my god, I forgot to add on my list. I really want to paint today. That was like a big part of what I wanted to do was paint. Because I feel like my confidence has been so low, I've realized that a lot of my confidence and my self-esteem is built around my physical appearance and as well as how I do in school. Basically, the way that I see confidence is that your confidence stands on pillars. And for me, for a really long time, my big pillars was school, how well I do in school, and my physical appearance. And now these two are like knocked off, so what is my confidence standing on? pretty much nothing. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to build my confidence on other pillars and one of them I thought could be art. Last time I tried to draw was like at the beginning of the year. It turned out so horrible. I hated it. So I stopped doing it but I still miss the feeling of doing something artistic. Then I was on TikTok and I found out 
I mean, this is not something new, but I recently found out about painting by numbers and I was like, this is perfect. I want to paint, but I'm also, I don't feel very confident going in with like no directions and just freestyling it. So I got this painting. It's a paint by numbers. I'll show it to you later when I'll actually like get to it. I'm really excited about this and I think it's gonna be a really fun activity that is not on my computer or that is not on my phone because I've been spending way too much time on that thing. Thanks for coming to my TED talk and if you're going through a hard time or you're just been in a slump as well or in a wallowing state, always feel free to reach out to me or talk to me. I'm here to listen to your problems. And if I have learned something, repressing and ignoring your problems will only lead to even bigger consequences. Your feelings and your problems are valid. Um, if you don't feel comfortable talking to me, then reach out to your friend or to a professional. I don't know your life story, but I'm just saying I'm all ears if you want to talk to me. Guys, I just quickly wanted to tell you that I made myself an Instagram account. This has been like requested by a few people. So my at is at glow.w.n and I will have my DMs open if you want to talk about what's going on or if you don't want to talk about it and you just want to distract yourself, hit me up in the DMs. We can talk. I will literally be there like for the following weeks. My school is canceled and I will be home. So hit me up in the DMs. I know my profile looks sketchy. There's no like profile picture and there's no content on there yet, but uh, yeah, just so you know, it's really legit. It's me and I can confirm that. The posture of a superstar She looks so fly In those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder what she hides Under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah And all the girls around the world They wanna be yeah. And all the dudes are trying to score Like it's fever She lives a double life Puts on a show What's under the subtle smile We'll never know She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her Let me paint a picture I see they don't understand Feeling like Picasso She brushing against my hands Seeing you from around the way You think give me the time of day You be making moves that like, yeah Who really care what Simon say All the bad things to look past that call yourself a dime i'm just trying to get my cash back you be looking fine so no wonder they can match that louis v scar for i'm chilling with a dad hat. whoa slow it down like that just hold me down like that yeah. she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her there must be something that features you'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get the
I've gotten ready and this eyeliner was a bad idea. It took me forever to fix it. Today was not the day for eyeliner, but I managed to fix it, thank God. Now it's time to do some editing. Editing has to be my favorite part of making videos, but it can be like a really long and tedious process. And the rough cut is definitely my least favorite part. I just hate it. If you don't care about editing, then this is probably not going to be really interesting to you, but Basically, what I do when I have a new video is I import all of my files directly into this timeline I edit in Final Cut Pro and then I go through everything and I chop everything off so I have to select all the clips that I want to show and then the last step is to add the text, transitions, sound, everything like that. at night and I just finished putting away my clothes I've been working on my drifting video I'm almost done with the rough cut it's been rough I mean they call it the rough cut because it's fucking rough and I'm working right now on the thumbnail okay here's a really quick tutorial on how I edit my thumbnails basically I go through my files and then I select a few frames that I like then I import them all into PicMonkey and then it's just really a question of playing around with the pictures. I take off like the excess in the background so that I can make the pictures pop even more. And that's the part where you really get to be creative and you can play around. It's my favorite part. Lately on some of my videos, I've been really liking doing like a white outline. And for that, I use an app on my phone that is free. It's called Sketchbook and it's really, really great. <laughs> the next day sorry <laughs> yesterday i finished uh 
doing the rough cut of my video and I did the thumbnail but I just was too tired to do the painting so I decided to just put on a movie on Netflix and that's what I did. I think I'm going to end the vlog right here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the love and the support. Uh, if you have any video ideas that you want me to do, please leave them down below. I read every single comments, heart every single comments and reply to every single one. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.